Coast, uh, Joseph, these fires that have just emerged and, and they're starting to get much larger as far as the acreage is concerned. Yeah, we had a couple weeks there. We had a lot of lightning that helped uh, cause a couple wildfires and then they're starting to add on up with that wildfire. Smoke is starting to push through a lot of the counties, causing air quality issues as we go through not only the weekend, but it's been a couple days and that kind of is a compound effect. And if you're outside trying to get stuff done, you may need to stay inside and not get some of the things you want to get accomplished. All right, so we have an air quality warning still into place until tomorrow. You can see the time right here. Some of the counties, some of the two that are uh, close to our viewing area is the Deschutes and Jefferson. Again, until tomorrow before we see the wind shift a little bit. But I think we may even see some smoky conditions maybe moving into areas of the Willamette Valley for a brief moment for tomorrow as well. But notice that hasn't impact our air quality here in the Willamette Valley, although Notice a couple locations at a moderate level, and then we do have some unhealthy for uh, some people that may have some issues with uh, the air quality. Here's the wildfire map. We have plenty of wildfires going on, too many wildfires going on across the state and across the whole western edge of the uh, United States. Notice that we have some heavy wildfire smoke, especially down to the south. That's why there's that air quality warning in place. And then we also have this medium level here. And so there's a good amount. We may even see, as I mentioned, some wildfire smoke in our section here in the Willamette Valley. The farther north you go, maybe up towards the northwest, uh, not seeing much unless you have a couple local wildfires there. And notice where there are some local wildfires. If you're close to that location, you'll probably be dealing with some smoke that may be a little bit thicker than other locations. All right, satellite and radar. Notice that there's no rain, really not much cloud coverage either. It's going to stay that way. We have a stretch of weather through the weekend and into next week where we'll probably see a pretty nice uh, weather as far as temperatures go, and we're not going to have a storm threat for a majority of the state. Port of Klamath is looking really nice right now. There's the river. Temperatures at 75 degrees. The river a bit cooler. In Lincoln City, I have our Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera. A few people out there right now enjoying the beach. Great place to be. I think it's going to be a wonderful finish to the day. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. The current wind speed about 10, 15 miles per hour, maybe slightly stronger than that. And it's running out of the northwest right now, and it is keeping us at just a very pleasant temperature in the upper 70s to about 80 degrees. We'll stay there. Notice that we'll be kind of hanging around this yellow to light orange. That's just going to be some, you know, temperatures or some, uh, you know, mild weather, you can say. And so we get to about Thursday. Then those temperatures may bump up a few degrees, but I don't have anything extreme in the forecast. Tomorrow, I have us at 84. The gorge a little bit warmer than that, 88. Uh, over towards Madras, 89. And be careful for a little bit of smoke. And over towards Pendleton and areas like Baker City, you'll be topping off about 90 degrees. I'll take us through the future cast real quick. Here's our Sunday afternoon. No rain to speak of. Again, we may have a couple stray showers uh, Monday on the southeast section of the state. But I think as far as thunderstorms go this week, guys, uh, it shouldn't be as active as what we've had over the last couple of weeks. All right, seven day forecast. If you're making any plans this week, slice a day out of the forecast and you'll find some nice weather. 85 degrees on Thursday. We have 86 degrees on Friday, Wayne. A nice week. Temperatures hovering right on the lower to mid 80s. That might be your best forecast of the year right there, long term. That's almost perfect. All right, thank you, Joseph. Well, next.